that have played. It looks a bit more solid, doesn't he? He does, and, yeah. he, and he looks like he's got the game a bit more game awareness than, say, a Magic Daugherty at the same age. Yeah, that was Hopper, boys, with that tackle. When we see a uh, replay of that, that's just what he does. He's he's the complete player. So you mentioned yesterday we talked about someone like uh, Lovell at uh, Tasmania, ready to go, ready to play. Yeah. Hopper's ready to go. The age of five. He's currently studying uh, a Bachelor of Exercise and Sports Science at university. So he is quite an intelligent young man as well as being a pretty handy footballer. Well, he's impressed early in this game. Yeah, he started well, hasn't he? Hopper again with another kick, and this time they decide to go across the face. Plenty of players around the ball. It's finally picked up by Hopper, and he clears it, and he's going to get a big long That's bounce a here. Good clearance. Yeah, and go for the That's ball, right. Right. Jump it down. Well, they never really ping you. They never ping you if you actually if you, turn your body. You it's, it's just difficult to do. Yeah. Or to time it. The timing's the key. You can look like a real mug if you go early inch on the back of the scone. <laughs> this is Hopper again, boys, who was inside that contest, got a free kick. Big jump coming at the back. But that's... And it's not too warm. Oh, the sun is out now, but it's not that warm down there either. It'd be single figures as far as the temperature goes. They're also doing a lot of development uh, in other kids that are going to wind up at other AFL clubs. Score a goal. Now, the team that has infringed will have a penalty go again. So you mentioned, Sando, there's probably four varying AFL game styles. Um, and that's why, boys, we try and have this coaching philosophy in place to develop a skill set that's transferable to the elite level rather than trying to teach an AFL game plan because... Which one do you think? He's already kicked the goal this time. He centres it towards the top of the square. Ooh. It goes over the back, though. It'll be a free kick. Don't pay the advantage because he didn't hit his foot. No, he didn't hit his foot. So <laughs> hit his knee. Come all the way back. This is Hopper. He got crunched here, but uh, it wasn't his fault. The Queensland player came back. Eyes uh, just for the player, unfortunately. Gave away the free. But he won't shirk the issue, Jacob Hopper. Well, he's a good solid size, isn't he? Got a bit of a cork. A bit of a cork, yeah. Eight disposals, five clearances. So, once again, the balance has mostly been inside the contest today. So it's having a rest forward at the moment. Interesting, as an inside play, his stats are eight kicks, no handballs uh, yeah. away from the yeah. clearances. So, to me, that says he's got enough strength to get clear of the contest rather than having to dish off. Hopper. Important kick this for New South Wales ACT. They need a second goal and they get it. He doesn't let them down. And they get back to within a two-goal game because it's been... Mainly up the other end, especially in this second quarter, but they managed the second goal. Well, you look at the, uh, as we have a look at the replay here, this kick, you get the push off the mark, get a little bit deeper. Just floated a little bit. The bad attempt to spoil. Well done by Hopper. The inside numbers are really interesting because it, the clearances are 18 to 9 in favour of New South Wales, uh, yet the inside 50s are 19 10 in favour of yep. Queensland. So, and the tackle is being led by New South Wales as well. So, all the heavy lifting type stuff is New South Wales have been good. Got a call out the back, did okay, got it over to Hebron. Starting to handle a bit more now, New South yep. Wales. Hopper's kick up and he's playing in front of Sproul. Chance here for Sproul, moves nicely, puts it out in front this time, that's good movement, and gives it to Hopper. That was better play by New South Wales, won the clearance inside Cornell. Good kick. And they need a goal here. Once again, it's uh, him and Lee. High 70s, but on a fine day, that's really poor. Hopper gets it from Reinhardt and then just kicks it up in the air. Shear gets there first. Ball running. This is good overlap. Running for the first time in the quarter. Kick out long. Hopper, hands in the back. Wasn't picked up. Now he's got a chance. It's a tough kick from there in the pocket. Decides to lay it across the boot. A little bit too much and a behind, but good movement. Much. Hopper floats it in. Goes over the back. They've got two on one here and they work it out. Himmelberg. He's a, he's a really good example, Pickers, of that. He ended up in the first round of the draft and went to Adelaide. Pretty much based on his 17th year and what he did, he captained one game for Vic Mitchell. Joyce, going to have to give it back to him, but here's a real go here for Setterfield. Hoping for a free kick hopper, but he just read it well anyway. Is he going to give it off? No. He's got the breeze behind him, so get home for distance here, Hopper. He's kicked one goal one. He's had 16 disposals, so he's at the top of the list for the Rams. Six clearances, too. He has kicked three bags of five this year for their uh, North Ballarat, the TAC Cup. He's just ready mate, isn't he? Look at the size of his big guns, big legs. He just got a little more kick. the man on the mark yeah. there. Well, it's interesting because you'd think Keys, Hopper, uh, 